Hi guys, so if you're well, I don't know whether this is a tag video or not, I'm not too sure, but I saw the beautiful beauty by JJ and this is live do this video and I absolutely loved it and I thought you know I'm um, live on a Sunday it's all about inspiration motivation advice and all that stuff so I'll just jump on this so it's the 20 mistakes and life lessons learned in our 20s and as I'm out of my 20s I think I'm kind of qualified to give some advice to you guys who may be still swimming in the 20s sea it was the most fabulous time so I'm going to start with the 10 mistakes and then I'll move on to the 10 life lessons learned. Relationships. Oh my goodness, if you're kind of sat there, you're like 21, 20, you're looking at you do thinking, I love you. 90% chance you're not going to be with that same dude come the end of your 20s. Nah, uh, uh. We've all been there, we've met that frog <laughs> and we think, yeah, is it he's the one and he's falling so deep but like I said chances are it's not gonna work out not saying it won't but chances are it's not and believe me I've been there I've done that and I think I'm still doing it because <laughs> it's crazy but a mistake I guess is to fall in too deep too early on in your 20s rather than just having fun as it were and just getting to know you and the opposite sex if you're in sort of full-time education in your 20s, because obviously if you go to uni, you will be thinking that you can breeze through education without pretty much effort and then still coming out with your A's and your two ones and your firsts and stuff. It isn't gonna happen. It takes hard work. As anything does, it takes hard work and dedication. I think what I did was to leave things to the last minute and then I'll get into a complete panic. But I love pressure. I love that last minute pressure. But I think when it comes to education, you need to be more prepared and more planned. So don't leave everything literally <laughs> to the last minute. And I, for one, I had done that with some of my coursework. I'd be like, oh, I've got ages, I've got weeks. And then it'll be that final week. Final week and I'll be like, oh my God. Another mistake is thinking that friendships last forever and they honestly don't. Most of the people that you'll meet are just acquaintances. So you may have that gang who you think, yeah, they're, they're my girls forever, my boys forever, and I go out club and I do this, that, and the other, and you think we're just like, we're tight for life. But no, it isn't always the way. You will literally come out of your 20s with just a handful of really good friends and it's always good to have that handful of really good friends. Yes, you're gonna have other people out there, but you'll realize the difference between real friendship and just acquaintances. Another mistake is thinking that it's okay to spend, spend, spend. You only live once, a young one, spend. I want that bag, I'm gonna buy that outfit, I'm gonna buy those shoes. Yeah, but if you have a future, honestly, the earlier you start thinking about your future, like just thinking that you can save or whatever, the better. So don't go spending, spending, you're just gonna spiral into debt. As we all know, like loads of people just in ridiculous amounts of debt. So don't pile it up more by just spending willy-nilly on things that you honestly don't need. Another mistake, and I was always guilty of this, was thinking I was so old on each birthday. Like literally, I remember like 20, I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm so old. Like, I've only been on this earth for 20 years. You're not old. Honestly, you're not old. And even when you're going beyond your 20s, you're still not old. You haven't been on this earth for that long, enjoy it. Don't worry about age, just enjoy life. Another mistake is hating on people who've got stuff that you want. And I see it a lot on YouTube. You fool around, you don't know people's stories, you do not know how they acquire certain items and things. So don't hate. Focus on your own life, focus on your own goals. If you want to get something, whether it be something like a handbag, then you focus on how you're going to do it. Don't waste ridiculous amounts of energy on hating on people who have got nothing to do with you. I'm kind of sticking with the same point, hating on girls. I don't know what it is with females. And I, for one, went through a little period like that. I went to all girls school for my secondary school, so my high school, so I was just with girls for just a million years. And I think because you're in that environment, you just become so bitchy and you just hate on girls for no reason. Like, oh my goodness, like, who do you think you are? That was me for a period of time. I had to snap out of that because I'm like, I'm not going to get anywhere in life if I'm going to have this attitude. So I quickly switched that around and 
I didn't have problems with anybody, what's the point? Another mistake is thinking that you have to look a certain way. And unfortunately, we have social media, we have the media in general who are just putting out all these images of the perfect woman. You don't have to look like any of these things. It can be very dangerous. You may have a certain body type. You see, I don't know, I don't know, John Dunn with her very slim figure and you want to aspire to be like that and then you start doing extreme stuff like not eating or taking weight loss pills and things like that. It's a very slippery slope that can easily get out of control. So please, whatever you are working on yourself, yes, you can get fit and healthy really, really safely. There are lots of workout videos, there's lots of workout tips and tricks, do that. Do not be starving yourself thinking that you can look like goodness knows who else. That's their body, you're that body, you focus again on yourself. Another mistake, and it is quite sad this one, you can't trust everybody. Honestly, you can't. And I think I learned that in uni. I went to uni being very trustworthy of everybody. Like, oh my goodness, everyone, my friend, I can trust you with my life. And I soon saw that you cannot. There are people who will be in the same situation as you, and they'll be doing something to you. It's just crazy. You cannot trust. I remember being at uni and seeing guys cloning credit cards from other students. They were students themselves, and they were doing it to the poor students and stuff. What kind of craziness is that? Seriously. So trust. It's sad to say, trust very few. I think you always have a gut feeling of who you can really trust, so always go with your gut feeling. My own personal mistake, and I think it may run true to a few of you and you may be aspiring to be like this, but I honestly thought, come age 30, I'll be married and have kids. And I was so heavily weighted on that, I was like, come that time, I would. It didn't happen, it wasn't meant to be. And if I look back on it now, I was with somebody then, I'd be divorced now. We don't want to be a young divorcee, no. So, lessons learnt. Number one, people will pull you down to get to where they want to be. It's very true. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there, but you don't have to be mean about it. And that's why I personally come onto YouTube and I give the advice, the tips, the tricks on how you can better yourself because I honestly do not see the point in just I mean, no, keeping everything to myself because I'm improving all the time and I want you guys to improve too. So. Just remember, it is a doggy dog world out there, but you don't have to just be pooing on everybody to get to where you want to be. People remember what you have done, and then one day it will catch up on you. Boys, and I say boys, can be more trouble than they're worth. Do not lose yourself with all of that. Make sure that you are still doing what you need to do in your life to get to where you want to be. So do not just focus on the we, because one day you may turn around, or even you may turn around and think this is not working, or he wants to be with someone else, or whatever. So you wanna make sure that you are doing what you need to do so you are fine if that happens. Don't lose yourself. Number three, quite simply, hard work pays off. Number four, have a savings account. Even if you cannot afford to be stashing away, I don't know, 50 pounds a month, if you can even put in a couple of quid into that savings account each week or each month, do so because there's gonna be a time when you open that bank account and you look at it and you think, I've saved that much, that is amazing. So think about your future, get a savings account, have something coming out by direct debit every month, don't touch it. After a year, have a look and see how much you've saved and that will spur you on to save even more. A lesson that I learned is that you'll probably end up with a close group of friends, a close knit, tight circle of friends that you can honestly rely on. It's just so ridiculous when some people log into their Facebook and they've got 2,000 friends. Okay, you put on your Facebook page that something serious has happened to you and you need help, you need money, you need something like that. See how many people come running to you, I can guarantee that you won't be able to count them on one hand. Seriously. Have a close group of friends, yes you can have many many more, but have a close group where you're sharing your secrets, you're helping empower each other and you're doing the best that you can and that they're there to support you every step of the way in your life. Another lesson learned is that if you're unhappy in a relationship at such a young age as this, leave. Quite simply, just leave. Make sure that you do things that makes you happy, but equally benefits you too. So it's a win-win situation. I learned that if you need anything, ask. It's so important. Just ask, somebody will listen and somebody will help. Stepping out of your comfort zone and taking the risk can sometimes have the most amazing results, so do it. 
And my final point, don't say yes to everything. Honestly, don't. Don't always have to please everybody. You can say no to, it's your life, you've got to be happy. So obviously, you don't have to say yes to everything. So those are my words of wisdom. Enjoy your 20s, they go so fast. But when you're ready for the dirty 30s, life gets even more fun. Take care.